we're going to take a look at estimating quotients. Remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So down here in this problem here, I would be estimating this part right here, the quotient. But before we do that, I want to look at how we would estimate a product. So let's look at the problem at top. So if I was going to estimate 63 times 38, if I wanted to estimate this product, what I would probably do is say this is about 60, and this is about 40, and then I would get my estimate right here, 2,400. What I did was I rounded to get my estimate. Now when we estimate quotients, it works differently. You can't round. So I have on the bottom 203 divided by 7. Now if I wanted to estimate this quotient and I took the 203 and I rounded it to 200, I haven't really done anything to make it so I can get an estimate really easily in my head. Because when you want to get an estimate, you want it to be something that you can do easily in your head. So this 200 isn't going to work here because I don't know what 200 divided by 7 is in my head. So I need to do something else. So let's cross this 200 out and think about what we can do here. So I'm dividing by 7. Now does 7 divide into 2? No. Does 7 divide into 20? Yes. So now I need to think of a number that's close to 20 here that 7 divides into. 21. 7 divides into 21. So I'm going to change the 203 to 210. 203 is close to 210, but I didn't round here. I came up with what's called a compatible number because 210 is going to be compatible with this 7 here because now I can do it in my head. So now I have the basic fact 21 divided by 7 which is 3, and then I add the 0 here, and now here's my estimate, 30. 203 divided by 7 is about 30. Let's do another one here. How about the one on the left? We have 297 divided by 4. So now I need to think of a compatible number here, because if I round this 297 to 300, it's still going to be tougher to do in my head. So. Does 4 divide into 2? No. Does 4 divide into 29? Yes. So I need to think of a number close to 29 that my 4 will divide into. 28. 4 divides evenly into 28. So I'm going to change it to 280. There's my compatible number, 280. Now, I can use mental math to figure this out. Here's my basic fact, 28 divided by 4, which is 7, and then we add this 0 right here. 297 divided by 4 is about 70. Now, let's look at the one on the right, 451 divided by 8. Does 8 divide into 4? No. Does 8 divide into 45? Yes, but not evenly. So now I need to think of a compatible number here. What can I change my 451 to? Well, what's close to 45 that 8 divides into? 48. So I'm going to change this to 480. Now I didn't round because 451 doesn't round to 480. I just found a number that was close to my original number, 451, that 8 will divide into because now I've got my basic fact here, 48 divided by 8, which is 6, and then I add the 0, 60. If I went and got a calculator and I did 451 divided by 8, the answer would be somewhere around 60. Let's try another one. So I have 517 divided by 3. Does 3 divide into 5? Yes, it does but not evenly, so I need to think of a compatible number. What is close to 5 that 3 will divide into? 6. So I'm going to change this 5 to a 6, and then I'm going to add two more zeros. So now 517 is pretty close to 600, and now I can use mental math to estimate my quotient. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then I add the two zeros.
Now let's try the one on the right. 337 divided by 5. Does 5 divide into 3? No. Does 5 divide into 33? Yes. So now I need to think of my compatible number. What is close to 33 here that 5 will divide into? 35. So now I'm going to change this 337 and I'm going to make it a 350. Because 350 is pretty close to 337 and now I'm able to solve it in my head. I don't need to do any long division here. So now here's my basic fact, 35 divided by 5, which is 7, and then I add a 0 and I get 70 for my estimate. Now let's look at another one. So now on the left I have 2591 divided by 9. Does 9 divide into 2? No. Does 9 divide into 25? Yes, it does. So now I need to think of a number that's close to 25 that 9 divides into evenly. 27. I'm going to change this to 2700 because that's pretty close to my original number here. And now I'm able to do this in my head because I can use mental math. 27 divided by 9 is 3, and then I add the two zeros right here and right there. And there's my estimate, 300. Now let's try the next one. 906 divided by 4. Does 4 divide into 9? Yes. So now I need to think of a number close to 9 that 4 divides into. 8. So I'm going to cross out this 906 and I am going to make it an 800. And now here's my basic fact. 8 divided by 4 is 2 and add the two zeros. 906 divided by 4 is about 200. All right, let's try some more. Let's look at the one in the upper left. 209 divided by 6. So remember, if I round this to 200, it's not going to work because I can't do 200 divided by 6 in my head. So this rounding, it's not going to work. So I need to think of a compatible number here. Does 6 divide into 2? No. Does it divide into 20? Yes. What's close to 20 that 6 divides into? Think of it. Think of the number in your head. What is close to 20 that 6 divides into? Maybe you're thinking 18. Maybe I can cross this off and make this 180 because 180 is close to 209. Now I can do 18 divided by 6, which is 3, and add my 0. I got 30 as my answer. Now, let's say when you were thinking of a number close to 20 that 6 divides into, let's say you were thinking 240. That would be fine too, because 209 is about halfway between 180 and 240. And so either one is fine with me. It's a little bit closer to the 180, but if you chose 240, that would be fine too. So now I have 24 divided by 6, which is 4, and then I add the 0. So if you were going to estimate 209 divided by 6, it's about 30, or it's about 40. It's actually somewhere in between there. Let's look at the one in the upper right. 5,261 divided by 7. So does 7 divide into 5? No. Does 7 divide into 52? Yeah. Not evenly. So we need to think of a compatible number here. What can we change this to? Think of a number in your head right now that you can change this to. Maybe you're thinking 5, 6, 0, 0, 5,600. Now I can do this using mental math. 56 divided by 7 is 8. Add two zeros. There's my estimate, 800. Maybe instead of 5,600, you were thinking that you would change this to 4,900. Both are fine. And now we do 49 divided by 7, which is 7. Add two zeros. There's my answer. So if you were to estimate 5,261 divided by 7, 800 would be a good estimate, 
and 700 would be a good estimate.